This video is property of MBKP International, LLC. This is part two of aligning the mirrors or aligning the laser. Okay, we already aligned that laser in part, or that mirror in part one. And the next thing we need to do is align this laser, this mirror. Or you want to make, get it to align, actually you're actually going to have to align this mirror to where it hits this mirror perfectly. So basically you want to do the same thing. You want to take a piece of thing and put it on here. Once you got it on there, you can you can close this lid and test fire the laser and see where it's hitting, just like we did in part one on the first mirror. From there, you can tell how to adjust it. Again, you can take you can loosen these two screws here if you want it to, and, and you can twist this back or forth to get it to hit that if you want it to, or you can use the finger screws on it to to, to adjust it to adjust it any way you want it to get it to hit this mirror. And you want to do that with this all the way back to the back. If you can get it to hit all the way back to the back here. It's going to hit it up there as well. So you want to adjust it here. And once you get it hit in there, then you move on to your third mirror. Now you're going to take a different size piece of cardboard than this. You just want to cut the cardboard to where it's slightly bigger than this circle. That way you can put the cardboard over it and put some tape around it. Okay, and, once you do, and, and you want to do this as well at the far end of the, of the table. And that would be right, right there, right at the edge of the table. And from there you take that piece of cardboard, again you take the cardboard, tape it around it. And then you close the lid, hit the test fire. It should, this mirror should already be done, so it should bounce off this and go to the next one. Now if it's not hitting it, you can adjust this mirror to hit that center. And how you do that again is from these finger posts. Another way you can adjust this is right here on this bracket. There's two screws. You should be able to see them there. There's one right there and another one right there. And the way you get access to those is through this flap right here. You can move that to the side and get it out of range it. Loosen those and from there you can move this bracket up or down if need be. And again, you can use that if you need it to raise this up to get this mirror to hit that. There's a lot of different adjustments on these things that you can use to get these, get the laser to where it's hitting it perfectly. It may take some time to get these mirrors to hit it perfect, get the laser to hit these mirrors perfectly, but it's just something you have to do. We do, they are adjusted at the factory, but they do get out of the line um, as time goes on or during shipping. Shipping will really get them out of line, the vibrations during shipping. So typically when you first get the machine, you do have to line the laser. Okay, but once you get it aligned, and to get it to hit this one, you can also loosen these two screw, these three screws here, and it will basically allow you to slide this back or forth you know, to where you get the laser to hit dead center. And once the laser is hitting center, you can put this here, and we'll do a test on it. But um, another thing you can do on this thing, bracket, it's, sometimes I do this, you can actually just, it's pretty easy just to twist it a little bit or slightly move it, as long as you don't want, you don't want to put too much pressure on it, but... Sometimes if it's just slightly off, I'll just do a, do a tug on it like that to get it to hit the center where I need it to. Just don't want to put too much pressure and break it. But we'll do a test on it, just show you how, how it works here. And as you can see, it just burnt a small hole right into the paper. And that's basically it on this thing. You basically want to get all these mirrors lined up to where this laser bounces off this mirror, or hits this mirror dead center, then bounces off it. Hits this mirror dead center, bounces off it, goes directly into this hole here, goes in that hole, and there's a mirror here. I don't know if you can see it, but it bounces off that mirror and goes straight down. You know, goes straight down to whatever you're engraving on. And um, from there, once you get that done, you're good to go. You just make sure all your everything's tightened back up to where it don't get out of the line or anything. Okay, and once you're done with that, you want to actually turn the machine back off. Once you're done, unplug it, and then come back in here and put these these wires back in. I got the first one here. Put it back in the way it goes. And I remember that um, this blue was facing here. It could be different on yours, so pay attention to how yours comes out. And just put that back in the way it came. Once you get it back in, then you can plug your machine back in and you turn it on. And now this should operate again. We wouldn't want to, the reason we disable that, we, you wouldn't want to move it now while this machine's on and that was active because you can mess it up. So that's why we disabled that board.